With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I am the teacher for this question and the question is 1 gram of sample of calcium carbonate was strongly heated and the carbon dioxide liberated was absorbed in 100 ml of 0.5 molar NAD solution. Assuming 90% purity for the sample, how many milliliter of 0.5 molar HCl would be required to react with the resulting solution to reach the end point in presence of phenolphthalein? So, in this question, it is given that a sample of calcium carbonate of weight 1 gram when it is heated it cleaves carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide was ad absorbed in the NH solution. Now it is also given that the percent purity of NH solution is 90%. So we have to calculate the volume of 0.5 molar HCl which would be required to react the resulting solution to neutralize it. So first when calcium carbonate is strongly heated it will form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Now it is given that the weight of calcium carbonate is given 1 gram. So and it is also given that its percent purity is 90%. So weight of calcium carbonate will be 90% of 1 gram that will be equal to 90 upon 100 into 1 gram that gives us 0.9 grams of the calcium carbonate is present in it. So now we can calculate the moles of calcium carbonate. Moles of calcium carbonate as moles is equal to number of moles is equal to given weight of the substance to its molar weight or molecular weight. So the given weight is 0.9 gram for calcium carbonate and its Molecular weight is 100 grams. So, the number of moles will be 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. So, now it means from the reaction we can see 1 mole of calcium carbonate gives 1 mole of carbon dioxide. It means the mole of calcium carbonate will be equal to the number of moles of carbon dioxide liberated. It means it will also be equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. These number of moles of carbon dioxide are liberated when this calcium carbonate is heated. So, we can say now the carbon dioxide liberated is absorbed in the HCl solution, in NH solution. So, we can say, we can write as the reaction carbon dioxide plus NH, it will form the NaHCO3 that is sodium bicarbonate solution. Now the carbon dioxide number of moles are 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 and NH volume is given as 100 ml and 0.5 molar NH. So its moles can be calculated as number of moles of NH can be calculated as its given weight oh sorry its concentration that is 0.5 molar into its volume that is 100 ml we will divide this by 1000 to convert this volume into liters so it will give us 550 into 10 raised to power minus 3 10 raised to power minus 3 moles these are the number of moles of NH now we can say the number of moles of carbon dioxide in this are less and the number of moles of NH are more. So the carbon dioxide will act as the limiting reagent. Carbon dioxide will act as limiting reagent and it will give on the formation of product that is NHCO3. It means the number of moles of carbon dioxide will be equal to the number of moles of NHCO3. We can write number of moles of carbon dioxide will be equal to number of moles of NHCO3. So it will be also equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. But in the reaction 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles and 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles of NH will react 
टूगेदर टू फॉर्म नाइन इंटू टेन एस टू पार माइनस थ्री मोल्स ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट सो द मोल्स ऑफ एन ओ एच लेफ्ट विल बी मोल्स ऑफ एन ओ एच लेफ्ट इट विल बी फिफ्टी इंटू टेन एस टू पार माइनस थ्री मोल्स द टोटल मोल्स ऑफ एन ओ एच माइनस नाइन इंटू टेन एस टू पार माइनस थ्री मोल्स इट विल बी फोर्टी वन इंटू टेन टू दी पार माइनस थ्री मोल्स ऑफ एन ओ एच नाउ दीज मोल्स ऑफ एन ओ एच आर प्रेजेंट सो to neutralize this these number of moles of nh or this nh hcl is required and we have to calculate the volume of hcl so that the solution reach end point in the presence of phenolphthalein so we will write nh plus hcl it will form it will neutralize to nacl and water and the equivalent of the nh is equal to hcl number of equivalents of NaOH will be equal to the number of equivalents of acid that is HCl now we know that the number of equivalents can be written as a number of moles into valency factor number of equivalents is equal to number of moles into valency factor and valency factor is the total charge on the ions or it's the number of electrons involved in the reaction so for NaOH the number of moles we have calculated above is or the left number of moles which would be neutralized by HCl the, these number of moles into its valency factor that is one because it will form Na positive and OH negative one the charge on ions is One and the number of equivalents of HCl would be the concentration of HCl that is 0.5 normal into its volume. That volume we have to calculate. So it will be equal to 41 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon 0.5. So that volume will be calculated as 82 into 10 to the power minus 3. This is in liters. So 82 by thousand. it means it is in ml if we convert liters to ml we will divide by 1000 so it is 82 ml so we require 82 ml of 0.5 normal hcl to neutral for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today